Hi everyone. Now I uh, picked up some more movies, so I figured I'd show them off. And uh, yeah, I got some good ones this week, so hopefully you enjoy this. Now uh, first up is Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Now uh, I got this pretty cheap, it was only 15 bucks, and it has both movies with cool disc art for once. So yeah, I mean... This is one of Quentin Tarantino's best movies. He doesn't really have any bad movies. I kind of love all his movies, but this is uh, this is great. It's a uh, Japanese animation, spaghetti western, kung fu movie, some exploitation all wrapped up in one. So if you haven't seen this, check it out. It's awesome. Next up is. Uh, Another addition to my Steven Spielberg collection, and like I said in my last video, I'm trying to get every single one of his movies, and this one is, obviously, War of the Worlds. Now, this is another movie of his that kind of gets more shit than it deserves. I mean, there are some stupid moments, like when his son runs into that inferno, in the middle of the movie and then he bumps into him at the end when he finally gets to uh, to Boston. But there's also some really some really cool moments, some really good acting moments from uh, Tom Cruise of which I really don't like, but he he's good in this movie. And uh yeah, Dakota Fanning's really good in it too. And the uh, visual effects themselves are pretty spectacular, so uh, don't listen to all the harsh criticisms of this movie. It's it's good. It's a it's a solid. I'd say seven and a half. So if you haven't seen War of the Worlds, uh, check it out. Next up is another Spielberg movie. It's uh, Artificial Intelligence. Now this is this is another movie of his that kind of gets uh, more shit than it deserves, and uh, it's really good actually. It's. Uh, it's a movie that was kind of being worked on by Stanley Kubrick since the, uh, I'd say the late 70s all the way up until 1999. He couldn't find a director for it. He had asked Steven Spiel Spielberg to direct it for him and he would produce it, but you know Sp Spielberg always thought that he should direct it himself, that it was like his baby and he was working on it for so long, but of course... Um, Kubrick died in 1999, and with the blessing of Kubrick's uh, widow, uh, Steven Spielberg went ahead and uh, finished writing it, and he directed it, and uh, it's fantastic. It's kind of a uh, a modern-day Pinocchio. It even has the blue fairy from Pinocchio, but there's also a lot of uh, a lot of deeper stuff going on here. Kind of the uh, you know. It brings up a lot of uh, a lot of issues about artificial intelligence, whether being self-aware means you have a soul and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, Haley Joel Osment gives a terrific performance, and if you look carefully, he does not blink once in the entire movie, which I think is uh, pretty cool and uh, takes a lot of discipline. So yeah, here it is. Uh, just like most Paramount releases, the uh, the disc, it's just, you know, there's, there's nothing to say about the disc, it just has the title of the movie on it, and you get this, uh, I don't really like these, because sometimes you press your finger on it, and then the picture gets dented, but whatever. Great movie, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Now this next movie that I purchased, I have never seen, but I've seen this, it's the only movie by this director that I haven't seen. So I decided to pick it up because I've only ever heard good things about it. I just pretty much never got around to watching it. So here it is. It's uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Now this is a... I still haven't watched it. I haven't had the time to uh, sit down and watch this movie. I heard it's pretty long. But uh, this is actually a Criterion release. Which I find uh, a little weird because Criterion movies always come in like digi packs, these cool kind of cardboard packaging, but this is just a standard Blu-ray case, so I don't know. But as you can see right here, 
it does have this C for uh, criterion. And if you open it up, there are the criterion discs. Here is the feature. And then they like to call their bonus discs uh, supplements. So there's that. But yeah, I, I haven't checked out this movie yet. I'm really looking forward to it. I really like Brad Pitt and uh, Kate Blanchett is uh, shockingly beautiful. I think she's she's gorgeous. So I'm really looking forward to watching this. She's also very talented. <laughs> so yeah, these are the four that I've picked up in the last week. Now, my next video is going to be very... It's going to be all Tarantino movies. I recently uh, I ordered... Uh, Jackie Brown and Reservoir Dogs are super cheap, and then Django Unchained is coming out on Tuesday, and I'm picking up the Steel Book from Target, which is uh, exclusive to Target. So uh, the next video is going to be strictly Tarantino. So look forward to watching that, and uh, thanks for watching this one.